Okay, let's start today's Caribbean Corner webinar. So I'd like to introduce everybody. Victoria, up on the screen at the moment, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is, please. Um, so I'm from Paradise Promotions, and I am today going to be telling everybody about Bay Gardens Resorts in St. Lucia and Golden Rock in, in Nevis. And my prize today is a £50 voucher, um, which can be given through the My Booking Rewards. Um, so yeah, from Bay Gardens. So that's that's simple, nice and simple. Right, thank you very much. We've also got Lucy. Um, unfortunately, Lucy's got a problem with her camera, but Lucy, say hello and tell us who you are and where you're from today. Hello, everyone. So I'm Lucy, and I'm here from Senesta St. Martin, Maho Beach. And today we'll be giving away a £50 voucher via my, my Maho Rewards. Super, thank you very much, Lucy. And um, you've got to be gentle with Lucy today because it's her first webinar that she's done with us. So uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, Lucy, and we'll take care of you, don't you worry. You. <laughs> um, <laughs> and last but not least, we've got Anna that's sat on that incredible beach, making us all <laughs> extremely jealous. I and wish I was, I wish I was, but I'm actually in wet and windy um, south coast at the moment. So yes, yeah, so hi from Hampshire today. I'm representing Blue... Um, say Blue Waters, Bakuti and Tara Beach Resorts in Aruba today, and our prize is £50, $60. Super, thank you, Anna. Over to you. Okay. So I'm going to whisk you off to the beautiful island of Aruba. So I am Anna from the Wellwing Collection. I've got a collection of three beautiful resorts in the Caribbean, but today it's all about Bakuti and Tara in Aruba. So I'm sure a lot of you don't know much about this island. So I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the island as well as this absolutely stunning uh, gem of a resort. So the island isn't huge. So Aruba is 20 miles by 11 miles. It's very far south um, in the Caribbean. And uh, we've actually got the brand new flights with British Airways that started in March this year. So twice a week on a, a, a Thursday and a Sunday. And it's a tag off Antigua. So you don't get off the plane in Antigua. It's an hour and 45 down to Aruba. And you fly into the capital, Aranjastad. Um, and then from there, it's just a short 15 minute transfer up to Bakuti, where you see the heart on this map. Um, and then from next summer, we will actually be moving to one flight a week uh, with British Airways as a tag off Antigua as well. So it makes a perfect twin centre with Antigua. So about B Bakuti and Tara, absolutely breathtaking um, scenery that you'll see on Eagle Beach uh, where Bakuti and Tara is located. So these dots are people. So you can see how wide an open space this beach is. So the only complaint is how long it takes to get from your sun lounger uh, down to go for a swim. So Eagle Beach is one of the dream beaches of the world. We are 104 uh, rooms and suites at Bakuti. So we are all about adults. So we don't actually take children um, at all. So under the age of 18, we don't take. And it's all about romance and wellness and well-being. Um, absolutely stunning resort. We've at, we've won lots of different um, awards as well, and we are constantly um, on TripAdvisor number one hotel uh, for romance, number two in the world for uh, number two in the Caribbean, and top twenty five hotels in the world. We're also on the Condé Nast and the Travel and Leisure listings as well. So you can see it's 14 acres of um, absolutely stunning beach. And you can see the sun lounges are very much spread apart. And we do offer a sun lounger booking system. So you actually don't need to get up at 6 a.m. to get your sun lounger. You can book it the night before and you can have your lie-in um, and just uh, chill out and head down to the beach when you're ready. So we are all about curated romance. As I mentioned, we do lots of different packages for our honeymooners and our couples. And you can honeymoon like a celebrity. So we offer a fast track through customs, your private car transfer and a private champagne reception on arrival. It's a really, really lovely um, arrival for our honeymooners. We've got more space and privacy than any other resort in Aruba. So as I mentioned, we're 104 rooms and suites. So we are very much a boutique resort and you can see the space that you have along that beach and this beach is never crowded you can walk for for miles and you never you, you you know you see a few people on the beach but it is not a crowded area we're all about personalized service as well and one of the things that i did notice when i actually went to the resort is that actually your luggage is there in your room before you've even checked in so you arrive you get your glass of champagne you check in it's a really seamless process and then you're taken to your room so we offer a beautiful um twilight and moonlight um dining service on the beach it's a three-course dinner including a bottle of wine. It's a really, really beautiful service. You can just look at that setting and you can watch that incredible sunset that Aruba offers there. We also offer our guests um, movies under the stars. So that's twice a week. 
And this is complimentary for our guests and again, a really, really lovely way to spend the evening and enjoy that atmosphere down there on the beach. So we also have our own um, yacht, which will take guests out so we can, you can um, enjoy an open bar um, and then just head out and watch that beautiful sunset on the water with your loved one. Really, really lovely experience. We offer small, intimate weddings. So we don't take groups of any kind at um, Bakuti. We want to keep that intimate atmosphere. So we don't take uh, bookings of more than three rooms at the resort. Um, but we do offer weddings and we can offer these as a live stream micro, uh, micro wedding. So you can live stream it to your guests at home. Um, a really, really lovely way to ex for them to experience it as well. So in terms of dining at the resort, we do have one fabulous restaurant. It's a Michelin star chef. It's called Elements Restaurant. It's set on the beach. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Absolutely gorgeous setting down there. And again, we've won several awards at this um, um, setting as well. And again, the service is absolutely incredible down there. It's a really, really varied menu as well. And we offer um, an extensive menu for our vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free. So we're one of the few resorts in Aruba that do offer this as well. So a really extensive offering for them. Those that want more than bed and breakfast, because we are standard bed and breakfast, you, we do offer a half board option. So we have a dine around experience. So we include six restaurants locally, including our own restaurant elements. We are all about sustainability. So we want to make sure that we, um, so those restaurants across the island do receive our guests. So we, um, so we don't offer all inclusive at all at the resort. There's over 300 restaurants to choose from in Aruba as well. And because it's such a safe island, you can just like wander out onto the beach and there's lots of, um, beachside restaurants um, there as well. So we have a chair side service um, at Paul and Beach. It's a flag service and they can just order lunch, order drinks um, as and when you want to. We've got a wonderful chef's table. It's all being refurbished at the moment and it's a beautiful fine dining experience of five to eight courses. And we do offer guests outside the resort um, this experience as well. So we are all about wellness. As I mentioned, we're so we're about romance and we're also about wellness. Or you could literally do nothing um, and just chill out and read a book whilst you're there as well. But curated wellness, we do offer a complimentary daily wellness activity for our guests every morning. So that's any activity from Tai Chi to um, yoga, Pilates, beach walks, meditation. And those that want more, we will work with wellness experts across the island in four areas of nutrition, fitness, mental well-being and mindfulness. But look at this open space. It is the perfect setting uh, for wellness activities. We don't have an all singing, all dancing spa. And this is one of the reasons we are not classified as a five star resort. But we do have a full um, spa menu. We've got a gorgeous setting down there on the beach. And we have actually just had planning permission to build a two story spa setting with a with a pool there as well. We've got a fantastic fitness center. It's a really spacious, large fitness center. And all of the equipment in here is sustainable as well. So you can see actually on the screen how much energy you are actually putting back into the grid. So the, the, the exercise machines don't take energy out, but they deliver energy back into the grid. Our meditation, our beautiful meditation setting there as well. And in terms of our rooms and suites, as I mentioned, 104 rooms and suites. So we lead in with our superior garden view. This has actually got a side sea view, but we don't want to oversell it. So we call it a garden view. You can see the rooms are really contemporary. Some of the most comfy mattresses I've ever slept on. Really, really gorgeous rooms. And from there, you go up to our deluxe ocean front. So very similar on the interior to our superior garden view, but you've got that stunning uh, beachfront setting there. And then moving on, we've got our exclusive Tara wing. So this is our exclusive honeymoon wing of 48 suites. They were designed by our honeymooners. They wanted to have the bed overlooking the ocean there. So that's what we've got. And you've got that separate sleeping space here. I don't think this picture actually does it justice. Absolutely stunning suites these are. And in the top of the uh, Tara wing, you've got our penthouse suites. So a separate bedroom and a separate living space there. Huge bal balcony towering over the ocean. So you've got the most gorgeous views there as well. So as I mentioned, we are all about sustainability. We were the first carbon neutral hotel in North America. We're green globe platinum. We use solar energy. We've got the lowest per occupied room electricity usage in Aruba. And we also um, work with other local businesses to encourage their sustainability practices as well. So Ewald Beemans, who's our owner and our chairman, he's leading the way in sustainable practices for Aruba. And he helped ban single use plastics actually on the island as well. We've got our carbon offset program. And we've also donated 30 acres behind the hotel to the government where we will um it will be um trees will be planted there. And we hope within the next 10 years we can become carbon negative. 
So I'm just going to show you a short video of the resort. Okay, and just a little bit about what Aruba has to offer as well. So absolutely fantastic island for diving, spectacular coral reefs, colourful um, sea life there. And also for water sports, it's quite a windy island, but it's it's home to some world-class kite and windsurfing on Malmok Beach. We've got on the south coast, the water's a little bit calmer, so for snorkelling and paddleboarding in the crystal clear waters. So there's lots to offer there for water sports. Then we've got Arakok National Park, an absolutely stunning scenery there. So landscape where the beaches give way to the natural deserts there, the limestone cliffs, you'll find um, the Fontaine Caves here, the natural pool where you can go swimming and you can see that in one of the images there on the top. So really, really stunning. And actually in Arakok National Park, you've got all the adventure tours. So you can go hiking, you can hire cycles and do mountain biking. You can do Jeep safaris, off-road ATV tours, horseback riding. There really is so much to offer there. And then for cultural tours, definitely head to San Nicolas, where you can see um, the art murals, which you can see in the top corner here. Known as a sunrise city, it's rich in culture, rich in charm. You can also visit the colourful capital of Arendjestad, vibrant culture, history. It's got an st absolutely stunning architecture there as well. And then not to mention the nightlife. It's got a very vibrant nightlife, over 300 restaurants, as I mentioned, beachfront lounges, lively entertainment in the Palm Beach area. You've also got shopping and entertainment there with its casinos. And then in Eagle Beach, it's definitely more of a relaxed atmosphere uh, with restaurants dotting the beaches there as well. So why would you visit um, Aruba? So I've gone straight past that slide. Um, <clears throat> because we've got great weather all year round, so we have just an average of 13 days rainfall of um, annually. We're outside of the hurricane belt. As I said, we're very far, far south in the Caribbean. So you can visit any time of the year. We've got some of the most stunning beaches in the Caribbean in the world. It's one of the safest islands to visit with its low crime rate. Over 300 restaurants to choose from, a very vibrant nightlife. And you've got an array of activities to choose from, from fun adventure activities to cultural tours and exploring the national park there as well. It's very easy to get to. As I mentioned from the UK, you've got those British Airways flights from the regions. You can use KLM. So even from like Southampton, Bristol Airport, Norwich Airport, you can get to Aruba very easily. And from the US, you've got a variety of airlines that you that reach. You could also do a twin centre with the US to come to Aruba. So that's everything for me. So thank you very much for listening. My details are here and I will send you all my details um, afterwards as well. Thank you very much for listening. Super amazing. Thank you very much. Annie was getting lots of love hearts. So everybody was showing you the love. So they need to replicate it with bookings to show the love yes, as well. Please. Yeah, we're <laughs> we very high it. occupancy all year round. So just to mention, make sure you book early um, to come to Bakuti. 
Super, thank you very much. If you have any further questions for Anna, please pop them into the Q&A and we will answer them shortly. So a big thank you to Anna. Okay, I'm now going to hand over to Victoria. Victoria, are you there? I'm here. There yes. she is. I'm here. Okay. The stage is yours. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, it's lovely to be here. I hope the weather with you all is good. Um, it's not so great in the UK at the moment, but we will get through. But that's why people love to go to the Caribbean um, and experience some really amazing weather. So I'm going to today, I'm going to take you through um, Bay Gardens and just give you a little bit of an update. And then we're also going to go over to Golden Rock in, in Nevis as well. So starting with Bay Gardens, and I'm sure um, or hope a lot of you know these properties already. But just to give you a recap, we have three three star properties, a four star, which is our flagship property directly on the world famous Redwee Beach. We've got villas and we've got Splash Island Water Park. So there's something for everybody, no matter what your budget is and what kind of style accommodation you like. We really do have something that fits um, everybody's criteria. In terms of how do you reach um, Rodney Bay Village when you come into St. Lucia, uh, you would fly into Huanora International Airport, which is down in the south. And then it's about a 90 minute transfer. And I actually quite like the transfer. You can put the windows down, feel the breeze and you drive through and around the banana plantations up the coast, across the pitons and down and then up through Castries before you reach uh, Rodney Bay. Some people who don't like um, to have that drive, particularly after a long haul flight, you have two different options. You have the helicopter transfer, which um, will take you up to the smaller airport in the north, or you could actually do a ferry now. Um, so that would pick you up from the airport and it takes you right the way around to Rodney Bay Marina. So you're pretty much right on the doorstep of Bay Gardens. So Bay Gardens is a family property. It's a family owned and family run product. And what's lovely is that your guests become members of the Bay Gardens family on arrival. And because of that, we have so many repeat clients. Um, so, you know, we are three generations in now uh, at the Destang family, but it just really does resonate the right the way across the staff as well. They retain their staff. So their staff really do know the guests when they're coming back um, and the guests do like to come back and spend more time with the team. Um, also, if you've got clients that are interested in sustainability, um, Bay Gardens is a member of the Green Globe um, program. So they are actually a gold member as well. And they also feature a lot with their social economic responsibility. So they feed 80, um, 80 school children breakfast every morning. They support children that are coming through education and they sponsor them. They raise money, not just for the local community in St. Lucia, but also the wider community across the Caribbean. So um, you can see here, I think they were giving a, they'd raised after the hurricane a few years ago, uh, 15,000. There we go. I'll move uh, myself out of the way there so you can see the amount. Of that they raised $15,000. So they really are big on social eco economic responsibility as well. Um, so just going down through the properties, we have the Bay Gardens Marina Haven, which is a property up over here. Um, this is our kind of very boutique three-star property. It's 35 rooms. It's right opposite the Bay Gardens Marina, which is a fabulous place on a Friday night. It really is buzzing. It's lovely. All the boats have got their lights tinkling in the marina. There's sushi, there's pizza, there's so many different restaurants, loads of bars, and a lot of locals go. So if you've got clients that really, really want to spend time in amongst um, local St. Lucians, then these properties are fabulous for that. In the middle, we've got the Bay Gardens Hotel, which is 87 rooms, so bigger. We've got different room categories to suit different people. Um, we've got three swimming pools. Uh, we've got rooms with self-catering options as well. And I find that that ambience in Rodney Bay, if you know Rodney Bay, it resonates into the Bay Gardens Hotel. So it's not as calm as the Marina Haven and the Inn. It more has that vibrancy of, you know, we're in Rodney Bay Village. Um, and then the other property here is the Bay Gardens Inn, which is just 31 rooms in a horseshoe shape around the garden. And I always feel this is like an oasis. You come in and you exhale. So you've kind of done your shopping, been to the bars and the restaurants, walked around Rodney Bay uh, Marina and Rodney Bay Village. And then you can just come in and relax around the pool. Uh, the restaurant at the Bay Gardens Inn is actually located at the hotel. So clients that are staying at the Bay Gardens Inn, just one thing to note. For meals, they would come over to the Bay Gardens Hotel, which is literally across the street. So it's, it, it is um, less than 30 foot away. And we do a waiter service around the pool for guests that are having drinks at the Bay Gardens Inn. And they, so the staff will go over to the hotel 
and bring the, the drinks back for the guests at the Bay Gardens Inn. So um, I wanted to show you this. Now, this is a new room profile that we're going to have at the Bay Gardens Hotel. So by the end of this year, they will have done the first room, checked that everything is working, that everything looks really good in position, actually in the room of the hotels. And they will order everything. There's things coming from all over the world. So they hope to have the first 30 standard rooms completed by spring 2024. But I love these rooms. And I think for a three-star property on a three-star price point, these rooms are absolutely amazing and they're really going to lift the whole quality of the, the, um, the product for your clients when they come in. We do have a fabulous spa at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, and we have a fabulous wellness package that we do from the Bay Gardens Hotel. So if your clients are staying at the Bay Gardens Hotel, they can have treatments, uh, healthy menus. They can use the spa at the beach resort. There's yoga, Pilates. So I can send details of that package out to you. Um, but if you wanted to promote kind of a lead in wellness package for your clients, something that they're not going to see on those O&As uh, or OTAs. Um, so you're not going to be having to worry about competing price points and you can then offer something very different. And this is the La Mer Spa at the beach resort. So we also have the villas that I mentioned. So the, the, we have two villas. Um, you can see the, the back of the villa down here in this bottom picture. Each villa is 4,000 square foot of living space, four bedrooms, three on the top floor, one bedroom on the ground floor. So perfect if you've got anybody with mobility issues. Now I'm gonna play you a short video. This is actually just a walkthrough. So it's not a professional video, but it's a walkthrough as you come out of the back of the villa, you can see the pool area and the deck. And when we were there um, earlier this year, we actually had a boat, a water taxi picked us up from right outside and took us to Pigeon Island. And the team had organized for us to have a hamper with sandwiches and cookies and fruit and rum punch. So this is something that you can do with your guests. So I'm just gonna play the video now. So that's a great location, the villa. And just to say as well, the villas, you can book them on EP, bed and breakfast, MAP, or even all inclusive. Now, all of those properties that I've just run over have the, um, the complimentary shuttle that brings them down to the Bay Gardens Beach Club. So the shuttle runs every hour from each property and you could have it from the villa as well if you'd like to. You come down to the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa where you have you have complimentary sun loungers, you have access um, to all the complimentary non-motorized water sports, you have access to Splash Island Water Park as well, which is amazing. It's really, really good fun. So it doesn't matter which property of Bay Gardens you stay up, you can come down to the beach at the beach resort, use the facilities at the beach resort, and it's absolutely complimentary for you. And just so this is our four-star property, the beach resort and spa. It was actually a finalist at the Travel Industry Awards in 2022. Uh, and so it's a great family product and mainly because of rooms here. I mean, we, we are on a fabulous, fabulous beach, but also we have a deluxe room and then we the deluxe room interconnects to a one bedroom suite. So this, you can see this is the one bedroom suite here. So you've got a fully integrated kitchen, which is open plan kitchen dining room. You've got a queen size sofa bed here, huge bathroom. Uh, and then you've got the uh, the deluxe room as well. So this is perfect for anyone who has large families or multi-generational families, um, older teenage children who want their own bed each in their own room and mum and dad want their room and have a little bit more space. We have three rest, two rest, sorry, two restaurants and three bars on the property as well. So lots of different dining options for clients and they really are big on their food and they do themed entertainment nights as well. So as you come down, um, to the restaurants each night they will change they'll change the menu they'll change the decor so they really make it feel as if it's different but if your clients do want to go out and eat and they're on all inclusive we do have a dine around program so if they eat uh, if they stay for seven nights for two of those nights they can dine around locally and they have a choice of between six to nine local local independent restaurants and that also helps support the local economy so that's another big tick in the social economic responsibility book um, book for Bay Gardens 
We do have free weddings and free vow renewal packages as well. So you just need to book a one bedroom suite upwards and then you can have a complimentary wedding. You just pay the local charges. But if you do do weddings, we could just do a wedding for two people or we could do a wedding right up to 150 guests. So especially if you've got maybe families that are split between Europe and the USA and they need somewhere where they can all come together to get married, then it's perfect. We don't charge extra for a sunset wedding either. And you can have a wedding on the beach or you can have a wedding somewhere else around the property and all of the properties um, offer the weddings and we do have a wedding coordinator on site as well. So just to bring all of that together in a video, I'm just going to show you a very quick video. <laughs> gardens now I, i'm going to do very very quickly going to take you over to golden rock in in nevis so if we're to get to nevis you would fly into st kitts and from st kitts airport it's just under an hour to get over to golden to golden rock in um in nevis and that includes the water taxi transfer so this is this property is a, a thousand feet above sea level and it's situated um right on the edge of Nevis Peak. So it has this beautiful gold glow as the sun sets every evening, but you really are submerged now in beautiful tropical landscape jungle. Um, the, the gardens is spread over 40 acres and it was a, a designed by a gentleman called Raymond Jungles. Um, and you can tell he's just done such an amazing job. It's not land, doesn't like feel like it's very um, landscaped. You have to peer around all these beautiful plants and trees. Um, it's very mi minimalist chic. It's owned by two artists out of New York, Helen Marden and her late husband, Bryce. Um, and the, the property itself dates back to the early 1800s, but it really has only 11 rooms, um, which are cottages dotted around the grounds. And it's just so beautiful. You can make your own, have your own space, but if you want to come out and socialize and mix with the other guests, then you can do as well. Um, so this is our most romantic room, really. This is the sugar mill. So this is a lovely room for a bride um, and groom on a wedding night or a honeymoon. Um, it also works really well for a family. And these are some of the other cottages that we have. So every room is completely different. Everything has been thoughtfully designed. Um, and as I say, it just really is, it comes together in a really lovely way. So we have one central pool area where you can sit and relax. And as I say, you can come together as a, as a family here or with groups of friends. And if you wanted to do a buyout for this whole property, it's only 6,000 US dollars per night plus tax and service. We are literally 15 minutes away from the closest beach and 25 minutes away from the furthest away beach. Um, and we can arrange for a driver to take your clients down to the beach with a picnic hamper. And we have the most amazing restaurant on property called The Rocks. And um, we do fabulous, really, really, really fabulous breakfasts. A lot of people will just come down and have it as a late brunch and then they'll come back for dinner. But in the evening, the whole ambience changes and it's all lit by candlelight and it's very, very magical. So if you've got people who just really want to relax and reconnect, then it's perfect. Uh, and the last thing I just wanted to say was we have our new website launched. Um, which is really a place we've designed for you guys in mind. So we have blogs on here. You're welcome to copy and paste any of the information, use any of the imagery on here. So you've, you've got gallery on here. Um, there's a dedicated page for every property that we feature. There's an introduction to the product. There's a review from other travel agents that have stayed. So it's like that peer to peer review for you. And just everything is that you should want is on here. So if there's anything that we've missed off, please do let me know. Um, but that's it from me. That's everything. Um, hopefully I haven't run over too much. Um, I'm going to hand back to Sarah. Super. Thank you very much, Victoria. Um, no, you, you, you was OK. You was not too bad. So all good. Thank all good. you. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so um, well done to Victoria for the great presentations. If you've got any questions, please pop them into the Q&A and she will answer those shortly. Lucy, are you there? I'm here. 
Excellent. The stage is yours. Take us to Sonesta St. Martin. Great. I'll just share my screen. Okay. Hello, everyone. So I'm covering um, Sonesta St. Martin today. So just starting off with um, the details for Jade. So Jade is our business development manager for Sonesta. So these are her details. In case you have any questions or would like to do a follow-up after the webinar, please do get in contact with Jade. So to start off with our airlift to Sonesta, we do have a variety of flights. Um, so KLM have three flights per week via Amsterdam. Air France have seven flights a week via Paris. Condor have a flight a week via Paris. And then we have ETA Airways with one flight a week via Rome. We also have many connections available via the US and Canada. So a lot of options for guests to get to the resort. So Sonesta actually has two resorts. So we have Maho Beach, which is the family resort. And we have Sonesta Ocean Point, which is the adult only resort. So today we'll be covering Maho Beach. The resort is located on the Dutch side of the country. Um, so it's actually pronounced St. Martin and not St. Martin, which is the French side. Maho Beach is a family friendly hotel. It's the largest all inclusive resort in St. Martin. It's a four star all inclusive and is located next to the Princess Juliana Airport. Um, so transfers are available for just a few minutes to get to the resort. The hotel has its own village called Maho Village, which is next to Sonesta Maho Beach. And we have the largest casino in destination. This is an image of the main area of the resort. And there are 420 rooms um, in Sonesta St. Martin. So this is considered a large resort for the area. Just some key facts on the property. So it's an all inclusive and is a one fit for all. Perfect for families, groups and couples. We have fresh five restaurants at the resort and a pizzeria and a cafe included. There's a large oasis pool, which is a key attraction for this property. It's in the center of the resort and has water slides, kids pool and a small aqua park. We have an amazing kids club, which covers ages three to 12. And we also have a teen zone from ages 13 to 17. So at the kids club and in the teen zone, all activities are included daily um, for children to enjoy. Sorry, and a key USP for this resort is um, it's famous for plane spotting at Maho Beach. So guests can actually watch planes coming in and see it stopping to land at the Juliana Airport from the beach. All the rooms at the resort have standard amenities included. Higher room categories have extra inclusions. So in your standard rooms, you will get a mini fridge, which is restocked daily with water and soft drinks. Higher room categories have beer and spirits also included. We have one king bed options, which sleep up to three people and can also be um, a two double bed configuration, which will then sleep up to four people within the room. So starting with our lead in room category, these rooms are located on floor three to five of the resort. They have limited obstructive views, but it's perfect for those guests on a budget. Our garden view rooms are located on floors one to three. This is a quieter area of the resort and overlooks the lush gardens. We have our signature rooms on floors six to 10. It's a higher floor, so they get a better view. And in the island view rooms, this gives a great view of the island overall, but also of Maho Village and Maho Beach. The Oasis rooms are located on floors four to five. This is the lively part of the hotel where all the action goes on and guests have a view of the pool. Finally, our signature ocean view rooms are located on floors six to 10. So similar to the island view rooms, but you have a view of the ocean. 
And as I said previously, signature rooms include spirits in the mini fridge. Moving on to our one bedroom suites. So located, um, the garden view suites are located on floors one to five, lush garden views. And the benefits of a one bedroom suite is the master suite is separate from the living area. So as you can see on the image on screen, they have two very separate spacious rooms. Then our ocean view suites on floor six to 10, similar, but just with a full ocean view guaranteed. The final room type at the resort is our highest room category, which is the Sky Loft, loft Suite. So this are, these are amazing for guests that want the full luxury experience. The suites are located on two floors. The ground floor is the living room area. And upstairs, we have the full master bedroom and master bathroom. You have the guaranteed best views from this um, room category. So it actually overlooks the Princess Juliana Airport, where guests can see planes landing and taking off from their rooms. Moving on to the Oasis pool. This is a key USP for the resort. We have a water slide at the resort. And in the back corner there, you can see the smaller children's area. So that's a dedicated pool for children only. There is a swim up bar in the Oasis pool. And a key feature for families is we have what's called a teeny tiki area. This is really popular for kids where they have their own dedicated bar where they're served refreshments and of course, non-alcoholic beverages throughout the day. The hotel has access to two beaches. So the resort sits on Maho Beach, which is where you'll be able to have the plane spotting. And it's also minutes away from Mullet Bay, which is a, a popular resort, beach resort in the area. We have five restaurants at the property and a pizzeria and a cafe. So in this image, you can see our Oceana Terrace restaurant which is popular for guests as they're able to dine outside and overlook the ocean. Detail on some more of the restaurants in at the resort. So the Oceana Terrace, as we previously saw, is available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then we have our grill restaurant, which serves fish, chicken, and meat grills, and also vegetables. We have the La Fontana, which is an Italian a la carte restaurant. The Village Tavern is your a la carte pub. Great for guests who enjoy sports and want um, dinner and a beer. They can have this all in one place. We have Ying's Kitchen, which is our Asian co concept bento box style food. Then our all day options are the pizzeria, which is open from lunchtime to late in the night. And the pizza there is made fresh to order. Then we have the Maho Cafe, which serves coffee, tea, pastries, and snacks, and hot and cold sandwiches are also available throughout the day. There are five bars on properties. So some are located around the resort and some of the bars are located in the restaurants. So there's plenty of entertainment at the resort. It's perfect for families as the kids will never be bored at this property. So in the kids, kids club, we have daily activities, um, which actually changes every day. So the children will have a different experience um, throughout their stay. And for the teen, teens, they have their own dedicated area to hang out where we have pool, air, hockey, and access to different game consoles and other forms of entertainment. We also have entertainment available for the adults on resort. So there's never a dull moment at this property. We have all day activities and entertainment. Fitness is also key. So we have a SunFit body program. We have bingo available by the pool, cornhole games and karaoke in the pub to name a few of the many activities. There is also a 
small spa, which is the Serenity Spa on the property. So guests can have all their spa and beauty treatments here. And then we also have the casino. So this is actually the largest casino in the destination. It's located in Maho village and it's open from 1 p.m. to 3 a.m. Finally, we also have recently launched a digital concierge. So we can encourage our guests to download the app before they travel. On here, they can see the daily activities available at the resort if they wanted to plan in advance. They're also able to book spa treatment at the Serenity app via the concierge. And that is it from me. Super amazing. Thank you very much, Lucy. Um, so if you've got any questions for Lucy, please pop them into the Q&A. We do have a couple of questions that have come up at the moment. Um, Victoria, um, going back to when you were talking about Bay Gardens um, and you were talking about the villas, what does EP and MEP mean? Oh, sorry. OK, so EP would be breakfast. No, EP would be room only. So you just take the villa as it is. Then obviously B&B &B is breakfast. MAP is, I think it stands for Modified American Plan, but for the UK agents, it's kind of breakfast and dinner. And then AI is the all-inclusive. So you can okay. either, you can go to the beach resort to have your meals at the restaurants there, um, or you can have a cook come over and cook for you in the villa. I think there would be a surcharge to have a cook come over and cook your meals, but that's quite a lovely thing to do as well. Yeah, I know for sure. When you're in a villa, it's, it's one of the best things to do. Yeah. I love it. Okay, super. Um, Neil's asked, and um, Victoria, is the Nevis property all inclusive? No, so it's bed and breakfast. That's the only rate plan that they offer. Okay. But it's a really substantial restaurant um, of breakfast, and then they do have the restaurant as well, so in the evening. And what we find, and I didn't, I was rushing, so apologies, but we have, for a small property that only has 11 rooms, we do 60 to 70 covers a night at the, the Rocks restaurant. So it's really renowned. And even if people are staying in the Four Seasons, they will come up to the Rocks for dinner. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Um, Lucy, uh, is Sonesta LGBTQ friendly? Yes, definitely. So there's actually some um, gay cruises that we have that visit the island every year. So yeah, definitely friendly for everyone. Super, thank you very much. Um, Victoria, remind us of your property in Nevis. It's called Golden Rock Inn. So don't confuse it. There's a new property that's just opened in St Eustatius, which is an island right next to St Kitts that's called Golden Rock Inn Resort. Um, they obviously didn't check that there was nothing else in the area called the same before they decided on their name. But um, yeah, we have been there for many, many years. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Um, Anna, um, Joanna's got clients booked into Bakuti for a stay in January. Um, yep. Do they get the complimentary fast track at the airport and transfers or is there a charge for this service? There's a charge for that package, yeah. So just contact me and I can put them in touch with, um, with concierge. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Neil, thank you for your feedback from yesterday. Okay, Anna, you've had a lot of questions that have already been answered. Um, does anybody have any questions for Lucy or Victoria? No. Okay. So if you can all go to chat, we're going to go to the part of the day that I love, which is where we quiz you guys. So just as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets one prize draw entry. If you answer the fastest finger with a correct answer, you get 10 entries. Then tomorrow, when I do the spin to win, I'll pop you all into a big spinning wheel and I will let you know when I do the follow up and send a copy of the recording who the winners are. So. Lucy, do you want to go first with your question? Yep, sure. So my question is, what room category can you find on floor six to ten? What resort? room category can you find on floor six to ten? Okay. Right. So the most popular answer I've got is the ocean view. Is that the correct answer? Yes, that's correct. 
Super. Neil, you as the fastest finger. Um, Lucy, will you accept O view? I think Neil was trying to be quick. So rather than ocean view. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> okay, super. Thank you very much. Anna. Okay, so I mentioned in my presentation that we don't take groups of any kind. So what's the maximum amount of rooms per booking we'll accept? Whoa. Whoa, okay. <laughs> they remembered. I think that was too easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <It's three>. So across <laughs> three, Shanice was the first fastest finger. Popping that down. Victoria. Okay, so. Um, which of the Bay Gardens Resorts properties will have newly refurbished rooms in 2024? Mm, which of the Bay Gardens properties will have Neil? <laughs> so. It has, everyone's just putting Bay Gardens. It's okay. So it's not the inn and it's not the Marina Haven. Oh, Bay Gardens Hotel. So somebody has just, I think it was Holly maybe that was the first. Let me go through Bay Gardens. Bay Gardens Hotel, Hotel. is the correct Holly. answer. So yes, thank you very much. Holly, you've got your 10 entries. So Neil, Shanice and Holly have your 10 entries. Everybody else has one. I will let you know when I do the follow-up tomorrow who the winners of each prize are. Um, just checking that we don't have any further questions. Um, Oh, Neil's just said, my colleagues just returned from Bakuti, Anna, and she loved it. Brilliant. We Neil, like to hear. lots of bookings logged now. Oh, mm -hmm. can I, Sarah, can I just say one more thing as well, which I forgot to say, is that we're running a fam trip to Golden Rock Inn next April, um, and we've got five spaces available. We do have to ask for the agents, unfortunately, to pay for their international flights, but we will take care of everything else. And if ever, anyone would like to join us, please just drop me an email. Um, I'm victoria at paradise-promotions.co.uk. Super, thank you. And you guys will all do a follow-up. Um, yeah, so we'll you'll do a follow -up well. that as well. So everybody can reply back. Brilliant. Well, a big thank you to Victoria, Anna and Lucy for today. Lucy's stepping in for Jade, of course. Um, don't forget that these guys are completely trade friendly. They want to work with you. They're here today. They want your support. They're happy to support you with anything that you need as well. So if you've got any further questions from them, you need something to, you know, some extra selling points um, to, to tell to the client to secure a booking, just call them, email them, let them know, and they will help you wherever they can. Um, a big thank you to everybody for joining us. Um, I hope the storm calms down a little bit for you, Anna, and for everybody else in the south coast of the UK. Um, and have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you all next week. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Stay safe. <laughs>